Hi folks, today I'm gonna start assembling the 3D printer from uh, Charlie's 3D Technologies. This is a full kit, so everything was in the box. I've previously had an unboxing video from that. Uh, I will start the assembly with the frame. Afterwards I will do the soldering jobs and after everything was uh, set up in the electronics. I will do the complete assembly of the printer and the calibration and test prints and so on. What tools I will use for this? Of course we will need a soldering iron. I have this creepy one. It works very good. Uh, we will need some pliers. We will need these wrenches I guess you call it. We will need to drill holes. And uh, I will use uh, some kind of screwdrivers as well. I like to use this one because it's, I can change the bit and even I, I can uh, uh, screw metric nuts with it, like so. And also I will use uh, this kind of screwdriver to, to drive in hex nuts like these small ones if you know what I mean I will also set up a clock for you because the playback will be speed up so you can see here the time it took and finally I found out what this plastic screwdriver is for after setting up the printer we need to adjust the current of the stepper motor driver and as it will be under power it will be a good idea to use a plastic screwdriver for it instead of a metal one. And last but not least of course we need the, the assembly manual for it. I will follow the manual we expect from some small modifications so let's get started. After opening the package, I started to clean up the rods and solid rods. I used this cleaner, and you might see that I use a drill to clean the solid rods. I followed the instructions carefully. The assembly took me more than 12 hours. I had some major screw ups, and I was, tr I was in trouble with the documentation sometimes. I can tell you that I watched other user assembly videos prior starting assembling mine to get the idea. Here comes my first modification. I assembled the, the Y pulley before mounting it on its place. Need to clean up some holes. And here comes my first screw up. I believe that I have to mount all the washers inside the gap. That was wrong. It was not possible. I, I was so sure that I'm right. I started to, to file out the gap to fit everything inside. After some heavy filing, I could manage to put everything inside the gap. I have some damage in the shreds, I need to clean up. I made lots of measures, just couldn't find the right tool to measure this inside frame, find a title in the frame. It 
this part was easy. I've played around a lot with the slider, it was fun. Let's mount the motors. I realized that the motor is in the wrong place, so I need to move it a bit. In the meantime, I can tell you that I'm using this printer already and I'm very happy with it. It was very hard to put those bearings in its place. And again, I, and again I assemble the belt tensioner before mounting it. Of course, I started mounting on the wrong face. So flip it over. Apply some lubricant on the ZX threaded rods. The small screw that were really kind of handy. What's next? Assembling the extruder. The printed parts of the extruder needed some very heavy cleanup. I've played a lot here finding the right tension. Now comes the electronics. Note that the mechanical assembly took 5 hours. The 
documentation doesn't cover the wiring well. I couldn't figure out how to arrange all these cables. Without any guidelines, I just ordered the sensor to the height and fire, and that was false. After a lot of hesitation, I decided to glue everything in the labeled side, and that was wrong, of course. I used heat sink gear, this silver gear, the captain tape for the sensor, and I fixed everything with sanitary silicone. I count the instant switches. I've cut them to proper length. By mounting the switches I realized that something was wrong with them. I found out that they fail to switch when the screw stresses from the side. It took me an awful lot of time to find a workaround for this quality problem. In the end I loosened the screws to have an exact click and ordered quality switches. I made here some adjustments in the z-axis to be parallel as possible and again verifying those scrap switches. I've made some adjustment to the boards to fit better on one another. I just couldn't believe that those boards should mount it with only two screws. Now here comes my second major screw up. As I was glued the cables on the wrong side, I needed to remove and clean up everything. I was not happy, I should have spared it with a good documentation. This time I didn't use the silicone. Let's finalize the extruder. That was tricky. I use regular copper wire to fix the sensor and the heater in the place. I also apply some silver gel here as well. Alright, everything in place, all I need is to arrange the wires. Thank you. 
that is a lot of work. Assembling the motor drivers. That was easy. Didn't realize that I needed only four of them, so I did fine. I needed to send a bit from the driver post to fit well. This video doesn't cover the leveling and the calibration of the printer. The calibration of the z-axis was very tricky. Let's set the current of the drivers. Done. When the assembly is ready, now comes the leveling of the bed and the calibration. That's all for now, thank you for watching, bye bye.